GT Tools here. Today we're going to be walking you through the Wizard Smart Windshield Repair System. Let's get started. When you get your Wizard Smart Windshield Repair System, the first thing you want to do is you want to charge the unit. You're going to do that from the charging block that's included in the kit. Using the DC port in the back of the machine, you're going to go ahead and plug that in. And then you're going to plug the charger into a 110-220 outlet. The charger will indicate an orange or red which means it is charging and when it's fully charged it will turn green. While your wizard is charging you also have your vanish bridge and your dark cure lamp. Both of these units also need to be charged. Um, you charge the vanish with the 110 220 block that's included with the tool and it has a USB-C charger. Simply plug it into the side of the tool and let it charge for about two to three hours. The dark here um, has a 110 220 volt uh, charging block as well with the USB-C um, and this has an indicator on it uh, that uh, will be red or orange and will turn green once the unit is charged. All three of these chargers are unique to the tool so you can't swap chargers between units. Um, they must be used with the designated tool. So on the wizard, uh, the back side of the wizard, we have our on and off switch. We have our USB port for firmware updates. We have our charging port and we have our air connection valve. On the bottom of the machine, we have four rubber non-marring feet so you can set that on the hood of the vehicle without scratching or damaging the paint. So we're going to turn the wizard machine on uh, with the on off switch on the back of the machine. And when the machine boots up, it's going to boot up to the main menu. Under the main menu you have a system menu, language ses settings, a test function, firmware upgrades, and our contact information. Before you begin your repair, you have two options to select from, an automatic function or a manual function. The automatic function gives you two different run cycles, a full cycle or a quick cycle, which is 15 minutes of runtime or an eight minute runtime. And on your manual function, you can choose between your vacuum and the allotted pressure you'd like to use during the repair process. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is evaluate the glass. Now before you evaluate the glass, you want to make sure that you're working on glass that is between 35 up to 85 degrees. When you have it within that range, you want to take the blunt side of your pit probe and you want to check the volatility of the brake and we do that by just taking the blunt in and pushing on the cracks just to make sure we either have a stable or unstable repair. Uh, that'll tell you how much vacuum or pressure you would want to put on the brake if you were using the wizard in the manual mode. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check that and then we're going to go ahead and clean the pit. So you clean the pit by using the sh the sharp side of the pit probe and you want to cl clear out any loose debris from the center of the brake. We're ready to move to the next step. All right now that we have the pit cleaned out um, and you can feel that pit area uh, that's our cue that um, we're, we're going to go ahead and not drill this repair. We have an access point in the center of that chip. Um, if you do not have that pit or an access point in the center, um, you will go ahead and use uh, the drill that came in your kit to go ahead and drill that surface of the center of the repair to open up and allow you to get uh, your resin, which we'll get to, into that repair. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move forward and we'll in attach our inspection mirror to the inside of the glass and uh, move forward from there. So next we're going to attach our vanish bridge to the glass. 
How we're going to do that is we're going to lubricate all three suction cups with our suction cup lube, and then we're going to center the center bore of the bridge over the center of the brake. So next we're going to take our wizard injector and we're going to line up our side helix groove with the line designated in the vanish bridge. You'll attach the injector and then you'll give the injector a half a twist until it makes contact against the glass. Next, we're going to take our diamond clear resin and we're going to put approximately five drops down the center bore of the wizard injector. Next, we're going to take our quick connect adapter and screw it into our wizard injector until it's firmly compressed against the O-ring on the underside. Now we're attaching the hose to our quick connect adapter. And the other end of the hose we're going to connect to our wizard machine. So now that we have the wizard machine connected from the hose up to our injector, we're now going to pick an automatic program to select in this repair. We're going to start by using the quick cycle function, which is an eight-minute cycle um, of runtime, and we'll go through that. Now that's going to automatically progress into your vacuum and pressure functions, and you'll be able to check back on this repair in eight minutes. So under the wizard automatic function, at the top of the menu, you'll always see uh, the status of where you're at. Uh, we show the, the type of program we're on, which is a quick cycle, and the total time remaining of the repair. During the automatic functions under a quick cycle or full cycle, the wizard system cycles between vacuum and pressure three times. The wizard progressively increases in pressure during every vacuum pressure cycle that happens during the duration of the repair. During a quick or full cycle, the duration of the repair may be shorter or longer depending on your altitude and environment. So the wizard's finished completing its quick cycle. Uh, at this point you want to evaluate the brake to make sure that all the legs have filled. If they have not filled completely or the brake is partially filled, you can progress to a manual mode to finish the repair or you can exhaust your pressure and complete the repair. Right now we're going to move to a manual mode to finish this repair because it hasn't quite filled all the way. Under manual mode we have the options of going to vacuum or a incremental increase in pressure by 5 psi. We're going to start by going to vacuum. We recommend starting on vacuum for one minute followed by pressure at 30 psi for two minutes. Cycling between vacuum and pressure while increasing with each cycle by 5 psi until the repair is filled.
So now that the repair has filled, we're going to move forward with curing the repair while keeping our manual function on the wizard under pressure. So now that the repair has filled, we're going to go ahead and use our vanish bridge and turn on uh, our UV curing light. And we do that by pressing this button right here. It'll cure the perimeter of the repair for about 30 seconds while the wizard is under pressure holding the resin in the repair. Now that we've done our curing around the perimeter of the brake, we're going to go ahead and exhaust our pressure by resetting the system to zero. And then we'll return to the main menu. Next, we're going to disconnect our hose from our wizard injector. And we're going to unscrew our wizard injector from the vanish bridge. You'll have a little excess resin run down the, the glass. You want to wipe that just up to the break with a towel. Now we're going to take our pit filler resin and a curing tab and we're going to put a small drop of pit filler just above the break, let it run down into the to the pit area and cover it with a a curing tab. Then we'll engage the curing one more time for another 30 seconds. We're going to remove our bridge from the glass. Remove our curing tab. Remove our mirror. We're going to take a razor blade and shave the excess resin off the surface of the glass. Vertically, you hold your razor blade perpendicular to the glass, and you shave off this resin until we have almost a flush surface right over the pit area. have just a little left, stop and we'll polish it flush. Take a small drop of pit gloss right on the surface. And then just take a towel.
polish the surface of that pit area and clean the glass around the repair on the inside now. Congratulations on a great windshield repair done by the Wizard Smart Repair System. Thanks for watching the Wizard training video from GT Tools. If you have any questions, consult your training manual or visit us at gtglass.com.